Gross. Photos of raw meat being handled under iffy conditions at a California supermarket have gone viral, sparking disgust and outrage among netizens. Loretta Seto was about to shop at 99 Ranch Market in San Jose when she spotted two guys delivering slabs of raw, unwrapped pork in shopping carts. The carts came from a Costco across the street, which means countless of customers have probably been contaminated with nasty meat germs and don't even know it. Speaking of nasty meat germs, the market claims they've dumped the pork in the photos but deny involvement and say they filed a complaint with the vendor. That vendor is Jim's Farm Meat Company in Winton, who in turn claims the meat left their facility wrapped and in a combo bin. They're not sure if the delivery method was a request from 99 Ranch, but are looking into the matter and have since fired the two delivery men. An investigation is also being carried out by the Santa Clara Department of Environmental Health, who caught wind of the issue from Seto's post. That's disgusting. Cooking oil in China is recycled from the gutters. Chinese authorities have battled to get rid of gutter oil in the country's kitchens for years, cracking down on illegal oil production rings since 2011. But now it seems the black market oil in street-side stalls could be used to power up airplane engines. With Chinese cooking being so heavy on the oil, some enterprising people thought up a cheap way to produce it – by recycling garbage. First, they scoop up waste containing used oil or animal fat from sewers, gutters or dumpsters and take it to processing plants. After the mixture is refined and processed, the oil is repackaged and sold to vendors in small restaurants at below market prices. As reprocessed sewage, gutter oil contains carcinogens, which may lead to cancer and other health problems. But with the disgusting oil served up in cheap street eats, unsuspecting foodies may be none the wiser. Other countries have long used recycled oil not for cooking, but for industrial purposes, something China only caught on to in recent years. In 2014, Boeing partnered with a Chinese aircraft company to turn gutter oil into sustainable biofuel. After a Hainan Airlines flight flew from Shanghai to Beijing last March on a 50-50 mix of gutter oil and jet fuel, China might very well turn gutter oil into gold. Botulism outbreak strikes Northern California. A mother of three is lying paralyzed in hospital with her life in the balance after eating contaminated nacho cheese sauce. 33-year-old Lavinia Kelly is one of five confirmed cases of botulism linked to patients who ate at the Valley Oak Food and Fuel Gas Station in Sacramento. Foodborne botulism usually occurs in foods that are improperly stored or prepared. Botulism spores exist in the environment. In the absence of oxygen, the spores grow into bacteria that excrete toxins. According to the World Health Organization, botulium toxins are one of the most lethal substances known. Symptoms usually occur within 12 to 36 hours after exposure, with fatigue, weakness, and vertigo often followed by blurred vision and difficulty speaking. The toxins affect the nervous system and cause paralysis. Vomiting or diarrhea are common, and the disease can cause weakness in the muscles. Lavinia Kelly was driving home on April 21st when she pulled over to the gas station, bought a bag of Doritos, and poured nacho cheese sauce over the chips. The next day, Kelly was admitted to intensive care, where she remains more than four weeks later. Officials in Sacramento said there were four more potential cases linked to the nacho cheese sauce, which would bring the total to nine. On Tuesday, Kelly's family filed a lawsuit against the gas station for negligence. Mom discovers maggots in son's KFC fried chicken. It's a fast food nightmare as frightening as it gets. On October 10th, a concerned mother posted this video to YouTube of her son's fried chicken meal, courtesy of none other than the Colonel. On October 2nd, she took the five-year-old boy to a KFC in West Helena, Arkansas for a bucket of fried chicken. Shortly after the meal, the boy began gagging and vomiting, and she rushed him to the hospital with a bout of food poisoning. She must have held on to the meal, and for good reason. After inspecting the meal, she noticed little fly eggs inside the meat. By the next day, the eggs had hatched into a full-blown explosion of maggots. Ew! In response to the mother's claims, KFC released a statement saying it was highly unlikely the contamination happened in its restaurant. The company pointed to the fact a health inspector had come by days earlier and had taken a good look around the location for anything that would be of concern. KFC also noted that its cooking methods would also make it practically impossible for the eggs to survive the scorching hot temperatures the dead birds are put through. That being said, 
How much are you craving a finger licking good drumstick right about now? Contamination fears spark Ego Waffle recall. Kellogg recalled 10,000 cases of Ego Nutri Grain whole wheat waffles in 25 U.S. states on Monday due to potential risks of listeria contamination. Listeria monocytogenes bacteria is commonly found in soil and water. Vegetables can be contaminated with the bacteria from soil, while animals can carry it without appearing ill and can infect meat and dairy products. Once inside food, the bacteria can spread to processing facilities where it can survive for years, multiplying and contaminating other products. The bacteria can even survive being frozen and can spread to the freezer where the contaminated food is stored. When a person eats food containing Listeria monocytogenes, the bacteria can spread in the body and cause an infection, with symptoms including fever and muscle aches. CRF Frozen Foods announced a nationwide recall of almost 360 frozen fruits and vegetables after a Listeria outbreak in May. Meanwhile, ice cream brand Bluebell recalled its products everywhere after a large Listeria outbreak last year. Most of the world's honey has pesticides in it. Are you getting enough insecticides in your daily diet? Well, looks like honey is a sweet source for it. Neonicotinoid pesticides are showing up in honey on every continent with honeybees. Around 200 samples of honey were tested, and 75% were found to contain measurable levels of at least one of the five common neonicotinoids. The insecticide works by targeting crop-destroying insects' central nervous system. A number of studies have also found that the insecticide reduces and weakens honeybee hives. Pesticide levels vary between regions. In North America, 86% of samples contain pesticides. Asia, 80%. Europe, 79%, Africa, 73%, the Australian region, 71%, and South America, 57%. Bees and other pollinators are necessary to three-quarters of the world's food crops, but have been declining in number in recent decades. Destruction of wild habitats, disease, and massive pesticide use are all contributing factors. Stop eating papayas. One person died and 12 others were hospitalized in the U.S. after they were infected with salmonella bacteria found in papayas. The salmonella outbreak was linked to yellow Meridol papayas. A total of 47 people were infected with salmonellosis in 12 states, including New York. Symptoms of the infection include fever, diarrhea, and abdominal cramps. Most individuals recover without treatment in four to seven days. In severe cases, the infection may spread from the intestines to the bloodstream, and this can eventually cause death unless treated promptly with antibiotics. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has urged people to stop eating or serving yellow Meridol papayas. It is estimated that 450 deaths linked to salmonella infection occur in the U.S. every year.